Hey guys, this is the Paint Slinger here. Next up in the workshop, we're going to look at some Galaxy Gaming Gear. These are actually really neat miniatures. See you in the workshop. Welcome back to the studio guys. How's everybody out there painting them some awesome cool stuff? Well today we're gonna look at something a little different, a <coughs> excuse me, a little different, a little interesting today. We're gonna look at some miniatures from Galaxy Gaming Gear. Um, right there, check it out. Well, you know, they don't look, they don't look like your normal miniature and that's because they're not. They are in fact wooden miniatures and they're just they're they're cool they're neat they're interesting so we're gonna open up the package here and we're gonna take a peek and see what uh, what we got here oh, okay so it's a single piece single piece of wood and it looks like it has laser cut images of you know this neat little robot guy and you know these ones are called the scrap bots so they're kind of so they're they're a little you know they're a little broken as you can see there you go so uh be interesting to see how these things go together Pop this this fella out. So when I was talking to these guys, they I mean they have they have all kinds of uh, they have all kinds of things. They've got adventure packs like adventure parties. They have uh, scenery. They have you name it. I would go to their site, which which uh, which is galaxygaming dot galaxygaminggear dot com. And just take a look at all the cool stuff they have. And they're actually, it's designed by a fella, uh, Ghost Lore. And he is ghostlore.design. is a place you can go and take a look at his, at, at all of the other neat stuff that they have. But when I was talking to them, they said that basically what you need is just some standard wood glue. Uh, I call them bulldogs, but whatever the actual technical term is, just little, you know, big, big, well, big-ish paperclip things, and uh, that's about it. At least that's what they told me. So what we're gonna do here, before we start getting to any kind of painting, we're just gonna. We need to build them. And I, you know, if you have a popsicle or, uh, you know, or whatever else, if you don't want to get your fingers dirty, go ahead and do that. I'm just going to rub it around, make sure that I have a lot on the surface. Get the other half. Line them up. Squish everything together. There we go. Now, you know, you might need something to get in the nooks and crannies and crevices to uh, fix up fix up any alignment issues I 
All right. First little feller's done. And then you literally just take the bulldog, again, as I call it, acts like a clamp. Boom, he's done. On to the next one. Let's do, let's do this little fancy guy. See how that goes. Out he comes. free of the carbonite not really it's well sure we'll go with that can't necessarily see but it's a little bit of glue and then I'm just gonna spread it around with my fingers and then put him together Now the cool thing is, is that these little fellas are legitimately just two pieces of wood. That are, well, I wouldn't say slapped together, but they're glued together. They're kind of cool. Again, just kind of crank them down. The bulldog. Make sure the alignment is okay. Set them off to the side to dry. Last one. Well, oh, these guys are neat. Kind of like them. I mean, they're easy to put together. They're uh, that you know for for eat for you know little wood guys. They're not super detail, but they're not lacking in detail either. They're quite nice smell great too they smell like kind of because kind of smell like a campfire i got hickory flavored minis i don't know about you guys but it's cool all right so those three are all set and ready to go now we can't do anything with these guys you know until they're all dried and ready for paint so through the magic of the internet we're going to be right back when these guys are all ready to go all right welcome back now like i said through the magic of time lapse and uh let's see if we, can get a little better. we uh, are now ready to paint these little wood colors there he is boom just like that 
There's two pieces of wood. Glue it together. And just give you this neat little neat little figure that we can paint. So I don't think they're gonna be terribly difficult to do. I mean they're they're robots. Robot. And you know, and you don't have to do much if you don't want to. You can uh, do as little or as much as you want with these guys. And that's what I find really cool. So this one right here, what we're going to do is we're just going to make him, we're just going to make him silver because robots are silver. Thing that I absolutely love about these things is you you do not have to prime them I mean you can if you want nothing says you can't nothing stopping you from from doing so thing the paint the paint just goes right on So you don't have to worry about it. You know. Are you chipping or rubbing off or anything like that? Which I find nice. And so you don't have to take them out and give them a blast of, of primer. You can just go right into right into painting it if you want to or you know go ahead give it a little bit of a, a prime if you'd like you know with the uh, with the way the lines are cut into this guy, it's almost uh, it's almost just like painting in segments, you know. not much to it just gonna paint inside your section as best as you can don't go don't go over the lines I mean if, if you do a little bit there's whatever the end of the world now what are we going to do inside the head because I mean already snap he's uh he's silver so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the back side and then we're just gonna do the same thing
Give it a little bit of silver paint. And we'll figure out the rest as we go. These things are great. I I wasn't sure about them when I when I first got them. I mean, you know, wood miniatures. Kind of silly. I mean, they are, but they're but they're silly in a good way. Like they're they're cute, and I actually really like them. So, uh, again, thanks to uh, Galaxy Gaming Group for letting me try out their letting me try their miniatures. And hopefully, uh, you guys like what I've come up with. Yeah, these things are cute, fun, and easy to paint up. And they're pretty fast, too. I mean, if I wanted to, he's, uh, he's silver. Boom. Let's see if I can get him. There we go. Silver. He's done, technically, but of course that's not where we're going to, we're not going to stop there. He's a, he's a robot and he's a robot that's been damaged. So, uh. I'm going to take into account the damage. I haven't quite decided what what the insides are going to be for, for colors. But one part I am thinking any anyway that there's a little door thing right here on his back and it looks like that's where wires and things would be so just for funsies because I think it would look cool Gonna give it a bit of a bit of a brass color. You know what? I actually kind of kind of like that. You know, a brassy gold on the inside of the robot.
You know, he was high tech at one time before he got all busted up. So there's the gold on the inside. And I'm not really sure if we can get a close up of that or not. But let's see what we can do. Did a gold, goldish color on the broken parts. You know, and I kind of like that. I'm gonna leave the uh, the eye socket for wo uh, wood right now. We'll, I'll figure that out later. But. Now comes the fun part. So the way he is, literally, the way he is right now, just a little bit of paint, boom. He's done. You can, you know, he's done. You don't have to do anything more to him. He's a painted miniature. Once you glue him onto your, uh, once you glue him onto his base, there's a uh, no reason why well, you couldn't just have him like that. I, on the other hand, do a little bit more. And I'm going to try and give it a little bit of 3D effect here. And then you also get to kind of play around and wonder what the damage was that was caused him to look like this. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually using a very watered down uh, black to help create a little bit of depth and give some charring to where where he was broke or to where it's broke and we increase the charring yeah it's kind of looking pretty good around to the back side going to do the same thing you know, maybe it's blasted apart I don't know You don't know either, but at the same time, you know, it's your robot. You make him up however you choose. Maybe he was bitten. That'd be cool. I 
That'd be really cool, actually. He was bitten. Like, I don't want to do too much with them. Just want to add a little bit of, a little bit of dimension. Maybe go into some of the slightly thicker black. I'm way the hell over here. I'm sorry, guys. There we go. A little bit of scorching on the Other side, the back, the inside of the brain. Okay, you know, you don't know what happened to this little guy. You don't know what happened to this little guy. He could have been, he could have seen something bad. I think maybe I will make I have a dull kind of a dull yellow mm, it's not bad And there he is, just a little bit of subtle shading to give the give the body some depth. Charring. Where he was broke. Right, guys. There you go. Not much. And then all you're going to do is you're going to take some of that same wood glue that we use to put the two guys together, to put the two halves together. base wipe away the access the excess if you can I mean it dries relatively clear anyway so 
You don't get it all. That's okay. Hmm. And for the most part, there he is. Ready to hit the tabletop. One damaged bot. Whatever you want to use him for, that's what you use him for. So, I got two more to do, but as you can see, they're a quick paint up. They look, took about 20 minutes to paint up. They're nice, they're easy, they're quick, they're fun. Uh, we'll get with the other two look like later on we'll have we'll figure out what we're going to do so until then pain safe everyone and uh we'll see you in the workshop